on your graduation. Well done on your graduation. Tanya semua. Warmest wishes on your graduation. Woo! Congratulations to everybody. Well done, students. Congratulations, graduating class. Congratulations and wish you success ahead. Yay! Good job everyone, happy graduation! Well done on your success. Wish you a happy convocation. All your hard work has paid off! Happy graduation! Hello graduates, all of the hard work you have put in has paid off. All the best for the future endeavors and go out there and make a difference. Happy, Happy graduation! graduation. Ha! Ah, yeah, finally can go home. Ah. <laughs>
to be switched to silent mode. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in graduate studies, human development, and Beijing Normal University.
Mr. Tharman Shanmugaratnam, President of the Republic of Singapore and Patron of SUSS, <coughs> Mr. Ong Kang, Minister for Health, Madam Halima Yaakob, SUSS Chancellor, Mr. Richard Yu, SUSS Pro Chancellor, Mrs. Mildred Tan, SUSS Chairman, graduates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. This year's convocation marks a historic occasion for SUSS as we proudly celebrate the graduation of our largest cohort ever. <clears throat> Over 3,000 graduates, among you are the pioneer batch of our Bachelor of Public Safety and Security program. Congratulations and well done to all graduates. Your dedication and determination in reaching the pinnacle of your studies today have been remarkable and exemplify the true spirit of SUSS graduates. As you reflect on the completion of your university journey, many of you will be wondering if you have achieved your purposes and goals that you were seeking from your university education. Obviously, all of you would have achieved the primary goal of earning a degree. Hopefully, this will set you up for a productive career or enhance your capacity in your existing career. But did you get more than that from the university? How has the university equipped you with the knowledge, perspectives and attributes that will prepare you to face a future that will be volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous all at the same time? Universities have been around for a long time. Nalanda in India, considered by historians to be the first World's first residential university was in existence from the 5th century to the 12th century. The oldest university that has not ceased operation since its founding is the University of Bologna in Italy, founded in 1088. Universities as places of learning have lasted because they continue to evolve, to make themselves relevant to changing circumstances. The university of the present and future, if they are to thrive, must therefore have the capacity to innovate, meet societal needs, create opportunities, and respond to evolving challenges. I believe SUSS is such a university, an entrepreneurial university for social good. What do I mean? First, SUSS champions learning for life, which is critical for a world that is changing rapidly. Institutions of learning must play its role in enabling a population to deal with constant change and adaptation. SUSS engenders the spirit of continuous learning, encouraging its students to embrace an open-minded and receptive attitude towards constant improvement. Take the example of Vincent Lowe, who exited a teaching career of close to 40 years and joined our Juris Doctor program. Despite re-entering school at a mature age, he has attained commendable achievements, participating in competitions and conferences within the field and getting appointed as a class representative each year since joining SUSS. In his own words, SUSS has afforded him the opportunity to pursue his interest in law to embark on his next phase of life. He is now preparing for his bar examination and is certainly an inspiration to all of us. <clears throat> Secondly, we enable purposeful pursuits. We hope to define success in a university not with a piece of paper, but with the actual realization of passion and purpose. We want students to explore their passions, discover purpose, and contribute meaningfully to their academic pursuits, work, and personal lives. One graduate who marries passion and purpose is Ho Li Shan, our Master of Social Work graduate. Before her studies at SUSS, she was already working with different segments of society, from migrant workers to the youth and to the elderly. She was recommended by her mentors and friends to take up the program at SUSS to acquire applied knowledge and pivot to a field that she's passionate about and called to serve. Even as she had encountered hurdles at work, home and in school throughout her studies, she remained undeterred and succeeded in embarking on this meaningful new career. Third, we honour resilience and determination, essential qualities that empower our students to conquer challenges and achieve their goals in work and life. Learning for life is not merely about learning over the course of a lifetime. It is also about learning how to live a good 
and meaningful life. No Friday, our early childhood graduate epitomizes this unyielding, tough-minded spirit to succeed in her studies. Over COVID, most of us face challenges adjusting to the new norm. Coming from a less well-to-do background, No Friday had to deal with far more unfavorable physical conditions of her rental home, which she shares with her mum and siblings during the COVID breaker phase. This involved spending around 10 hours a day of her time studying along the HDB corridor. But she made the most of her circumstances, finding creative ways to study and even forging good relationships with her neighbours over that time. I know many of you have had to overcome considerable challenges to get to this point, having to balance work, family and studies. Your achievements today speak of your ability to learn for life with purpose and resilience. This will position you well for the future. Today, some people have questioned the value of degrees, arguing that conventional academic qualifications may not align with evolving adaptable skills demanded by new industries or job roles. Some employers are also re-evaluating the hiring criteria and placing more emphasis on skills, potential, and cultural fit. Amid debates about the value of traditional degrees in a rapidly changing world, SUSS stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of higher education and continuous learning. Our enrollment continues to grow since our inception, and we now welcome nearly 5,000 students each year, full-time and part-time, into our university. As I said earlier, I would like to see SUSS embarking on a unique growth trajectory as an entrepreneurial university for social good in a phase of changing education, work, and environmental demands. We can be a disruptor in this regard. We will not stand still, but will strive to build new frontiers to deliver on our role as a university that inspires learning for life to impact lives and to redefine the meaning of education and success. How do we achieve this? First, we must stay closely connected to local and global communities and the larger ecosystem we serve. This will allow us to learn and understand needs, draw fresh insights, ideas and opportunities direct from the industry, enterprise and community. This has enabled a continuous refresh of our curriculum and programs including a new curriculum edition launched this year to keep our education agile and relevant. We also leverage on technology to design and deploy teaching and learning tools and platforms like the digital andragogy blueprint for Singapore's workforce that was co-created by SUSS and Microsoft to enable educators to better leverage digital tools for adult instruction and learning. Second, despite being the youngest autonomous university in Singapore, we must maintain relevance in offering a unique blend of full-time and part-time studies to a diverse learner base. From small beginnings, we have grown into a recognized university brand known for our lifelong learning education, applied research, and impactful partnerships, offering over 90 stackable programs and close to 1,000 professional courses to learners and working professionals today. Finally, we must leverage our core expertise in social sciences to generate impact in education and research for industry and society. One such example is our Ni An Kong Si Social Impact Hub, established with the support of Ni An Kong Si to promote an age-friendly Singapore served by our students, graduates, faculty and partners. The road to learning is a long one and it beckons us towards new vistas of discovery. So to our graduates, as you leave the university, remember that the university does not leave you. The university does not leave you. SUSS is now your alma mater. Alma mater is a Latin phrase meaning nourishing and bountiful mother. I hope you will continue to regard SUSS as a source of strength and a beacon of guidance. Your journey as lifelong learners continues and I welcome you to return to learn with us anytime. As we celebrate your achievements today, I want to take the opportunity to honour and express our deep gratitude to your families, 
friends and everyone at SUSS who has supported you along this journey. Please join me in applauding this group of people. As you go forth, remember that your legacy will not be defined by the loftiness of titles or the size of salaries, but by the lives you touch, the challenges you overcome, and the contributions you make in society. We, be we believe you will all make SUSS proud. May your future be filled with optimism, purpose, and fulfillment. Congratulations again, the graduating cohort of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my privilege to introduce our guest of honour, Mr. Ong Yee Kang, Minister for Health. Minister, please. Mr. Taman Shamugaratnam, President of the Republic of Singapore and Patron of SUSS. Madam Halima Yaakob, Chancellor of SUSS. Mr. Richard Yu, Pro-Chancellor, SUSS. Mrs. Mildred Tan, Chairman, Board of, Direct, Board of Trustees, SUSS. Professor Tan Tayong, President, SUSS. Distinguished guests, parents, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. It gives me great pleasure to be back at SUSS to attend your convocation ceremony. It has been four years since I attended the last SUSS convocation ceremony. That was 2019 when I was Minister for Education. SUSS has a special place in my heart because of my personal involvement in the university. For several years, I served as a board of director of SIM University. We call it UNISIM at that time. And it is the precursor of SUSS. In 2017, and when I was Minister for Education, UNISIM transformed into SUSS, the sixth autonomous university in Singapore. And in Singapore, we consciously make every one of our autonomous universities unique. And in this regard, SUSS is unique in two significant ways. First, it is the only autonomous university that focuses on developing talent that contribute to social causes and social good, and hence the name SUSS. Today, you run successful undergraduate programs in social work and early childhood education, and graduate programs in non-profit management, community leadership, and counselling. You are the only university which offers the Bachelor of Law and Juris Doctor in criminal law and family law. Many of these programs are offered by the SR Nadan School of Human Development, named after our former and late president, Mr. SR Nadan. Shortly before his passing, he told me that if there should be a school named after him, he hoped it would be SUSS. In his words, he said, and I quote, because it is a university for someone like me, unquote. This leads to the second unique characteristic of SUSS, which is that it caters mostly to adult learners who did not have a chance to attend university when they were younger. When SUSS was first established, you only had an enrollment of 1,500, albeit because you only have freshmen. Now, your enrollment is almost 20,000, with almost three quarter the great majority being working adults and part-time graduate, part-time undergraduate students. You came from all walks of life, an average age of about 30, and having accumulated several years of working experience and being more mature, more ready, SUSS has given you the opportunity to obtain a degree for your career advancement, for your personal development. Since its establishment, SUSS has strengthened these unique characteristics and has become an important part of the university landscape in Singapore. 
In addition, you continue to improve the education experience for all students. Full-time employment rate amongst graduates is now over 82%, comparable to all other autonomous universities. Many people made this happen. Dr. Richard Yu, the Board of Trustees and Governing Council of SIM for exercising leadership and making those fateful decisions to make SUSS happen. Ms. Mildred Tan and your board members for leading and providing oversight of the university. Former university president, Professor Chong Hee Kiet and current president, Professor Tan Tai Yong, who ran the university with your faculty and management members. I should especially mention Mr. Stephen Lee. When SUSS was first established, I asked him if he could be its first chancellor, which he agreed. He then took a keen interest in the kind of graduates SUSS will develop. He believed strongly in the social mission of the university. He paid special attention to students from lower income families and how they were financially supported. And once he asked me, Is it, was it usual for a chancellor to raise money for the university? And I said, not really. Nevertheless, he went on to give strong support to help the university set up its endowment fund for student financial aid and also to support research. Mr. Stephen Lee could not be with us today, but he was with SUSS during the first few critical years after its founding. So please join me to show our appreciation to the first chancellor of SUSS, Mr. Stephen Lee. Today, I'm glad that SUSS continues to enjoy the highest level of support with President Taman Shambhukaratnam as your patron and former President Madam Halima Yaakob as your new Chancellor. Their presence today further underscores the importance of the university in our education landscape. I should say it was also at SUSS that I heard one of the best valedictorian speeches. It was delivered by Mr. Wong Ey, an accountancy graduate, during your 2019 convocation ceremony. There's proof that I thought it was the best because I actually posted about it and Tai Yong dig up the Facebook post and showed me. Ey recounted how he had applied to a few autonomous universities and only SUSS accepted him to study accountancy. He decided to make the best of the offer. With an optimistic mindset, he enjoyed the broad exposure to different subjects, history, literature, technology, under your common modules program. He benefited from the service learning projects and work attachments. He made many new friends. He made many new friends. He appreciated the teachers. And then he secured a good job offer before he graduated. I always remember Wong EY secured a job offer from Ernst & Young, which is also EY. <laughs> that speech really resonated with me, and it's relatable in so many ways, no? even in daily lives. So let me illustrate with a simple example. When I was a child, flying overseas was a rare treat. No? At that time, there was no personal entertainment. But at some point during the flight, a screen will be lowered along the aisle. It's a small screen, maybe 12 inch, 14 inch, and then a movie will come on. I never knew what would be shown, but I would put on my earphones and give the movie my full attention. To me, it's such a rare treat and such a nice treat to watch a so-called free movie during a flight. At home at that time, we have a few cassette tapes. Those days, movies come in big cassette tapes, VHS. We had a few titles. I remember we had Jaws, we had E.T., The Sting. Not many choices, but whenever I'm free, I'll watch one of the movies. And I must have watched each of them more than 10 times and remember all the conversations. Now, fast forward to today, on some evenings when my wife and I are at home, we are free, I would suggest let's go to Netflix and watch a movie. And then we'll flip through dozens of movies sample many trailers, one and a half hours later, we watch nothing. 
it tells us something about choice. It can end up misleading us, sometimes even a little bit overrated. Because when faced with so many options, we, started, we start to feel we must make the perfect choice. And then we start to worry, what if we make the wrong choice? And even after you made the choice, you worry, do I regret making that choice? Was there a better choice that I should have made? The result can be paralysis in decision-making. When I was Minister for Education, I would always advise students, pursue your passion, but with a big caveat, provided you know what your passion is. There are so many options and pathways that MOE has created. It is really not easy for a student to identify a pathway that reflects his or her passion. And the fact is that most students are too young to know what your true passions are. There are people, and many people in fact, who spend their whole lives discovering what their passions are. Hence, usually, usually, it is far better for us to appreciate what we have before us and then, to make, and then make the best of it. And this is what EY did when he was offered a place at SUSS. Instead of regretting the past and worry about the future, he decided to value the present and stay positive and optimistic. I have no doubt that his choice of attitude created a good outcome for himself. This approach does not just apply to university admission, but many things in life. Our job offers, work assignments, opportunities that come along, relationships with people around us, even choice of which movie to watch. Yes, we all value and appreciate choices in life. However, it is often not the vast menu of options before us that is valuable, but the decisions we make with the hand that we are dealt with that is most important. With the opportunities available in a dynamic and vibrant Singapore, and having gone through a good education at SUSS, I wish all of you a lifetime of good choices. Making the best of your skills and knowledge that SUSS has given you and the opportunities that will come before you. On that note, congratulations to all our graduates. Thank you. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Doctor of Business Administration has earlier been conferred. Chiu Chin Hui, Andrew. Lui Hon Yi. Lo Wai Lak. Tan Tek Kiong, Patrick. Tay Kok Chun. <laughs> Yao Su Chin. <laughs> Chancellor, may I present the following graduate 
on whom the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Gerontology has earlier been conferred. Swapna Dayan Nanda. Chancellor, may I present the following graduate on whom the degree of Master of Counseling has earlier been conferred. Chen Siu Xiang. <laughs> Chong Hui Bing. Lao Pan Jiaming. <laughs> Liao Wei Ru. <laughs> Liao Kai Xing. Lim Jia Hui, Levere. <laughs> Lim Shiming, Alicia. <laughs> nu Amira Binte Jumali. Pauling <laughs> Primila, daughter of Guna Sekaran <laughs> Ravindran, son of Sandanandan. Sanjita Savaraja. <laughs> Sharindev Kwa, daughter of Sukhdev Singh. <laughs> Sam Hui Yung. Teng Wei Quan <laughs> Jasmine Binte Muhammad Yusuf <laughs> Yi Su Ching Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Finance has earlier been conferred. Akshita Bashka. <laughs> David Jedediah Ong Han Yuan. Felicia Ng Jing Yi. <laughs> Gan Chun Hui. <laughs> Go Mei Xuan, Dorothy. Olivia Tan Yi Ting.
Palaniapan Kamala. Raj Harini Subia. Tan Chi Heng. Tan Ming Hui, Valerie. Tan Yi Lian. Ting Yi Fen, Joycelyn. To Yong. Xie Shun Ching, Benjamin. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Human Capital Management has earlier been conferred. Chao Shuming. Niu Jing Yi. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of IP and Innovation Management has earlier been conferred. Che Wee Kwan. Fahan bin Aidil. Go Jemi. Lim Bei Long, Lewis. Ao Ji Chin. Pei Lei Feng, Agner. Samuel Chong Junjie. Sean Benedict Gattinson. Tei Chin Guan. Wang Anxian. Yo Chao Yi. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Management had earlier been conferred? Adeline Go Shredling. Albertus Billy Mahaputera. Alfred Sid Suchet. Anthony Abigail Jacqueline.
Asmi bin Mosin. Bola Rajulu, Bala Saravan. Chen Shi He. Chen Zhiling. Chiam Jia Wen, Gary. Chua Chai Fang, Evelyn. Chua Kamen, Jaslyn. Chua Yu Jen, Calvin. Eng Jun. Evelyn Chong Wei Chi. Gunalan Nalini. Guo Wei Jia. Ho Wei Zhong. Hu Xinyu. Hu Huiming Jasmine. Hu Xingpei. Ines Wee Xingjia. Jagjit Kwa, daughter of Pamjit Singh. Lalit Kuma Kadda. Lee Elfie Daniel. Lee Eugene. Lee Yuan Chu. Lim Wen Xing, Sarah. Ling Da Shun. Liu Bo Wei. Lo Li Yi. Lo Yi Jun, Jin. Maria Cristina M. Obodo.
Michelle An Soxa. Mohamed Ridwan bin Mohamed Akbar. <laughs> Mohamed Amir bin Rosli. <laughs> Mohamed Hazik bin Salahuddin. Nizam bin Zaini. <laughs> Prasanna, daughter of Tia Garas. <laughs> Pravin Sharan, son of A. Tiru Salvan. Craig Suling. <laughs> Roshin Javila Thomas. <laughs> Xia Pei Xuan. Sharon Andrea. <laughs> Sung Ming Wei. <laughs> T. Pritika. Tan Rei Yu. <laughs> Tan Wai Kiat Alvin. <laughs> Tio Chang Hao. Tihat Tu Jen. <laughs> Vigneshwaran, son of Jara Raman. <laughs> Wong Xiong Mei, Rachel. Wanisa Wichara Ankun. <laughs> Yap Huini. <laughs> Yap Chia Hao. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Social Work has earlier been conferred. Derek Chua Kong Chen. <laughs> Ho Li Shan. Azaya T. Yuan Chen. <laughs> Jeremy Roy Losami. <laughs> John Eliza Huang Yu Liang.
Julia B, daughter of Abdul Latif. Ko Guan Hong. Lo Kun Man. Muhammad Zaid bin Shahu Hamid. <laughs> Muhammad Nagwit bin Amit Salamat. <laughs> Siva Sankari, daughter of Sata Sivam. Suriyana Binte Ramat. <laughs> Shafika Binte Sudamo. <laughs> T. Rubashiri. Han Hui Ling, Evelyn. <laughs> Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Taxation has earlier been conferred? Hemalata Chandrasegaran. The SR Nathan School of Human Development is pleased to commence the presentation of graduates for the class of 2023. Before we begin, we are proud to present a video of one of our graduates reflecting on her learning journey. Ms. Ho Li Shan graduates today with a degree of Master of Social Work. In my university journey, I learned that there are no limits in the pursuit of knowledge and life experiences. Do not be afraid to take on more, because only when you test your limits can you realise how much stronger you actually are. We have the power to make a lasting impact. By embracing our responsibilities, we create a world where fairness and equality prevail for all, forging a better future for society. As we journey into the future, we often leave something valuable behind, our footprint. We have to ensure that the footprints we leave are positive and enriching for the students of tomorrow. That's how we progress as a society together. Setbacks are part and parcel of life. Acknowledging setbacks and picking oneself up can be difficult, but it sets you apart from people who give up trying, forging new paths ahead I set out to be a better me each day. Giving up and shunning from responsibilities are easy. The real challenge is how to persevere and take on responsibilities. With each and every step I take, I face all challenges head on and seek a better tomorrow. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Art Education has earlier been conferred. 
Lee Pei Ling Jasmine. Nur Hanisa Binti Atim. Nur Rashida Binti A. Rashid. Perlin Ku Bailing. Siti Nadira Binte Sumali. Shakira Afrika Binte Muhammad Suhairi. Tang Huai In. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Counseling has earlier been conferred. Abigail Ruth Hendricks. V. Sashi Taran. Chen Guo Wei Selmi. Chao Hui Xin <laughs> Chang Kuyet Lin <laughs> Edward Tan Chun Sing Emlyn Chua Pei Ling. Karen Chua Ai Kiang. Kui Shit Mui Monica. Lee Chak Ling. <laughs> Leong Ka Man. <laughs> Liu Kai Sheng Kenji. Lim Kuo Min Allen. <laughs> Lim Shi Pei Justina. <laughs> Leon Wong Chong Lin. Mahuru Nisa Binte Nasaruddin. <laughs> Messi Erika Tan Sin Ling. <laughs> Muhammad Haris bin Abu Hasad. Muhammad Kayum bin Noshapi. <laughs> Muhammad Roskairi bin Roskaida. <laughs> Muhammad Sufyan bin Bahrain.
Nalini, daughter of Satya Silan. Ng Nam Ho. Nur Amani Binti Ahmad. Nurhanis Binti Zainuddin. Nurul Lydia Binti Mustafa. Ong Hong Lian Sharok. Ong Si Ying. Petar Radabi, daughter of Ramraj. Puja Jacob Putuseri. Seri Sulastri Biti Muhammad Shaleh. Sharifa Nurujana Binti Said Abdullah Zah. Stella Chu Wen Yu. Sugana, daughter of Vijaya Kuma. Tan Bi Ha. Tio Tsui Fang Irina. Tio Shi Hui Vanessa. Shi Po Yi. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Music Education has earlier been conferred. Che Yi Xuan. Christopher Tay Joshua. Lee Yi Lian Jane. Liao Sheng Yang. Ten Rong Rong. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Sports and Physical Education has earlier been conferred. Alif Hafiz bin Masno. Ambrose Tan Cheng Hao. Chia Wei Rong. Chen Jin Long.
Chong Zi Hao Kenner. Chua Jie Xin. Dini Nadira Binti Ahmad Jaffrey. G. Jagan. Elena, Elena Gan Hui Kwan. Kenneth Yap Jia Xiang. Kishan Mun. M. Tiniash, son of Manimaran. Melvin Chong Chi Long. Muhammad Alifi bin Muhammad Ali Nordin. <laughs> Muhammad Faiz bin Yahya. <laughs> Muhammad Nakib bin Asmin. Nurafika binti Muhammad Dahyan. <laughs> Nurailin binti Jais. <laughs> Nushahira binti Rahim. Quek Xiang Jing. <laughs> Arshavin Ganesh. Esnashiyan <laughs> Lan Pillai. Shankar Ganesh, son of Balakrishna. <laughs> Sim Yao Ten. <laughs> Siti Azura Biti Muhammad Pun. Taufik bin Abdullah. <laughs> Wee Jian An Josiah. Professor Shi, we will now commence the presentation of the graduates from Beijing Normal University. May I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Master of Early Education, uh, Master of Education in Early Childhood Education has earlier been conferred. Fu Xiaomei. Gu <laughs> Haoyan.
Jiang Siyao. Kong De Jing. Lin Li Pig. Liu Guoying. Wang Yu. Xie Meng. Yang Yaru. Zhang Hui Chong. Minister Ong, we shall now present certificates to the eighth cohort of graduates of the Executive Management Program. <laughs> Kenneth Tan Sui Hu. <laughs> Lee Tai Wei. <laughs> Lim Wai Ming Jua. Leong Sun Kwong. <laughs> Ng Tao Hock. <laughs> Sin Hong Wee. Sui Si Ming Shemitz. Tan Zi Che Marcus. Yap Yong Ching. Yo Sin Yi. Mr. President, may I present the following award winners for the degrees that have earlier been conferred. For the degree of Master of Counseling, winner of the Esther Tan Gold Award, Chan Siu Xiang. <laughs> winner of the Esther Tan Bronze Award, Nur Amirna Binti Jumali. For the degree of Master of Finance, winner of the Master of Finance Gold Award, David Jadidaya 
Ong Han Yuan. We know the Master of Finance Gold Award, Go Mei Xuan Dorothy. We know the Master of Finance Silver Award, Toyong. We know the Master of Finance Bronze Award, Olivia Tan Yi Ting. For the degree of Master of IP and Innovation Management, we now the IPOS Gold Award, Samuel Chong Jin Jie. We now the IPOS Bronze Award, Lim Pei Long Lewis. For the degree of Master of Management, winner of the Kwan Im Tong Hu Cho Temple Silver Award, Kwek Siu Ling. <laughs> winner of the Kwan Im Tong Hu Cho Temple Bronze Award, Eng Yun. <laughs> winner of the Cham Tao Soon Award, Tan Wei Kiet Alvin. For the degree of Master of Social Work, we know the Social Work Book Prize, John Eleazar Huang Yi Liang. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Counseling, we know the Anthony Yeo and Memorial Gold Award, Go Ling Zi and Anthony Kyo, NSHG Valedictorian Medal, Tan Bi Ha. We now the Anthony Yeo Memorial Silver Award, Lim Kuo Min Allen. We now the Anthony Yeo, Anthony Yeo Memorial, Memorial Bronze Award, Ng Nam Ho. Mr. President, we are honored to have you grace our convocation today. On behalf of SUSS, we would like to thank you for presenting awards to our award winners. Thank you. The valedictorian for the class of 2023 is Mr. Ng Nam Ho, who graduated. who graduated with the degree of Master of Bachelor of Counseling today. Mr. Ng will now deliver his speech to us. Mr. Dalman Shamugaratnam, President of the Republic of Singapore and SUSS patron, Mr. Ong Yi Kang, Minister for Health. Ma Madam Halima Yaakob, Chancellor SUSS. Mr. Richard Yu, Pro-Chancellor SUSS. Mrs. Mildred Tan, Chairman of the SUSS Board of Trustees. Professor Tan Tai Yong, President SUSS. Professor Robbie Goh, Provost SUSS. Distinguished guests, Fellow graduates, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. My name is Ng Nam Ho Allen. I'm a graduate of the Bachelor of Counseling program, and I'm deeply humbled 
and honoured to be selected as your valedictorian to speak on the collective achievements and the journey we have undertaken together. Today, I'd like to talk about community building and the importance of connection. You know, when I started the counselling programme, I assume it would be easy to connect with my classmates. After all, we were all aiming for careers in the helping professions. But as it turned out, all of us were a little bit shy. After class, students tended to scatter with few words spoken. I found that I was disappointed because I wanted to get to know my new community of classmates better. Therefore, at the next class meeting, I stood before everyone to introduce myself and say, hey, I'd like to organize a WhatsApp support group. Almost all the students signed out. Online, we discussed the material and the logistics of the program and supported one another with encouragements when assignments were hard. And let me tell you, they were usually hard. Learning alongside my classmate has reminded me the value of empathy and inclusivity. We laugh and we cry when we receive our TMAs. Well, some of us cried. <laughs> and we celebrated when exams were over. We couldn't have foreseen how crucial the connections we formed would become during the pandemic. With classes meeting only online and pandemic policies changing regularly as the crisis deepened, we face obstacles shared by students around the world. Despite those challenges, I felt that we managed to avoid isolation and even flourish during the lockdown. You know, social science research has demonstrated that people tend not to initiate casual conversations with others, such as uh, chatting with strangers on the bus, because they fear rejection. But the same line of research has also shown that others are usually grateful to us for reaching out and that everyone feels better after those interactions. I witnessed something similar in my own experience at SUSS. Taking the risk to reach out and to reach back was worth it almost every time. My understanding is that one of the main challenges facing the helping professions is that care providers tend to burn out. But if we support one another, we stand a better chance of thriving in our professions and having the resources to help our clients. So I urge all of us to remember to be courageous, to reach out, to build communities as we embark on our new careers. And today, let's reach out to those who help us on our journey. First, I would like to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to my community of classmates, to all my professors, lecturers, mentors, particularly Ms. Christina Ho, Ms. Rona Tan, Dr. Kui Siu Luan, Professor Cecilia Song, for encouraging, guiding, and supporting me. I would also like to thank my parents and my partner, Mark, for your love and unwavering belief in me. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please Rise and face your loved ones. <laughs> Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our parents, loved ones, and the university for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Okay, thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and today, we have the pleasure of having our very own SUSS alumnus, Ms. Siti Atliana Binti Supiani, class of 2021, and SUSS graduate, Ms. Jane Lee, class of 2023, to perform a rendition of the university song Onwards and Beyond. Please put your hands together for City and Jane.
We're on a journey, precious and daring. Hopes that are kindled with the dreams that we know can come true. We are moving on to face brighter tomorrows that burn our hearts on fire, goals to achieve. We'll soar on wings, it's onwards and beyond. Our spirits rise to dreams we can achieve. Lessons to be learned, it's upwards, onwards, and beyond. We're on a journey, pushing our limits. Our minds and willing hearts will heed the call to serve and grow. Reaching for stars to shape our future destiny. Building our dreams, milestones to reach, we shall succeed. We'll soar on wings, it's onwards and beyond. dreams we can achieve with new pathways to explore new lessons to be learned it's upwards onwards and beyond we'll soar on wings it's onwards and beyond To explore new lessons to be learned, it's upwards, onwards, and beyond. Declare this convocation closed. Please rise for the national anthem.